V for Vendetta, directed by James McTeague and written by the Wachowskis, is a political thriller set in a dystopian future. Based on the graphic novel by Alan Moore and David Lloyd, the film is a compelling tale of rebellion, identity, and freedom against a totalitarian regime. It stars Hugo Weaving as V, a mysterious and charismatic vigilante, and Natalie Portman as Evie Hammond, a young woman who becomes his unlikely ally. The film is set in a future Britain under the rule of the oppressive and tyrannical Norse Fire Party, led by High Chancellor Adam Sutler, played by John Hurt. The government uses mass surveillance, censorship, and fear to control the population. The story begins on November 4, with Evie preparing to go out after curfew, a decision that leads her into a life-changing encounter. Evie is rescued from secret police agents, known as Finger Men, by a masked man calling himself V. V wears a Guy Fox mask and speaks in a poetic, eloquent manner. He takes Evie to witness his first major act of rebellion, the destruction of the Old Bailey, set to the tune of Tchaikovsky's 1812 Overture. V's theatrical act of terrorism is a statement against the regime's tyranny and an homage to Guy Fox's attempted gunpowder plot of 1605. The next day, V hijacks the state-run British television network, BTN, to broadcast a message to the public, calling on them to rise against the government's oppressive rule. He announces his plan to blow up the Houses of Parliament on November 5, one year from then. Evie, caught in the BTN during V's broadcast, is suspected of being involved and is forced to go into hiding with V. As Evie spends time in V's secret lair, named the Shadow Gallery, she learns more about his background and motivations. V is articulate, well-read, and has a passion for art, music, and literature, all of which have been banned by the Norse Fire regime. He reveals that he was a victim of a government experiment at a detention center called Larkhill, where he was subjected to horrific medical experiments that gave him enhanced strength and reflexes but also disfigured him. Meanwhile, the government, led by Sutler and his chief enforcer, Peter Creedy, played by Tim Piggott-Smith, is desperate to capture V and suppress any potential uprising. They start a propaganda campaign to paint V as a terrorist and instill fear in the population. Detective Eric Finch, played by Stephen Ray, a good-hearted but weary police officer, is tasked with hunting down V. His investigation leads him to uncover the dark secrets of the Norse Fire regime, including the atrocities at Larkhill and the government's role in a biological attack that brought them to power. As the story progresses, Evie's relationship with V deepens. She is initially frightened and confused by his methods, but she grows to understand his fight against the Norse Fire regime. Evie's own past is marked by tragedy, her parents were political activists who were arrested and killed by the government. This personal history makes her sympathetic to V's cause. V conducts a series of vigilante actions, targeting key figures complicit in the regime's crimes and the atrocities at Larkhill. Each act is carefully planned to symbolize the corruption and cruelty of those in power. These actions are not just physical attacks, they are rich in symbolic meaning, designed to awaken the public's consciousness and inspire them to question their government. One of the pivotal scenes in the film occurs when V forces Evie to experience fear and imprisonment akin to what he endured. He stages an elaborate ruse where Evie believes she is captured and imprisoned by the government. This harrowing experience culminates in Evie overcoming her fear of death, a transformation that V believes is essential for her to be truly free. Detective Finch's investigation continues to reveal the government's Machiavellian tactics and the extent of their manipulation and lies. Finch, once a loyal agent of the state, begins to question his role and the legitimacy of the regime he serves. His journey represents the moral and ethical struggle of those who enforce the law in an unjust system. The film builds towards the November 5th climax. The government becomes increasingly authoritarian in response to V's actions, but this only fuels the growing unrest among the people. 
Evie, now fully transformed by her experiences, decides to carry out V's final plan after learning that he is mortally wounded from a confrontation with Creedy's men. In the finale, thousands of Londoners, donning Guy Fox masks provided by V, march on the Houses of Parliament. This act of mass defiance and solidarity is peaceful, yet powerful. Finch, who has unraveled the truth about the regime's rise to power and its atrocities, chooses not to stop Evie as she prepares to send a train loaded with explosives into Parliament. The film ends with the Houses of Parliament exploding, a symbol of the people's triumph over tyranny. As Evie watches the fireworks, she is asked by Finch who V was. She responds that V was everyone who ever stood up against oppression and injustice, emphasizing the film's theme that ideas are eternal and cannot be destroyed. V's legacy is that of an idea, a symbol of resistance against tyranny. The mask becomes a universal sign of rebellion and the pursuit of freedom. V for Vendetta concludes with the message that while one can destroy a person, the ideas and ideals they stand for can ignite change and endure forever.